I posted TikToks on TikTok every single day for 30 days, but why? I think the answer is pretty obvious. To get famous, baby. No, but for real, I wanted to see truthfully, how hard is it to become TikTok famous? Is it just a consistency thing? Do I need high quality gear? Do I need to like edit my videos super crazy and animate them super fast to like hold retention? Or is it just luck? I quickly got to work and started consuming content with the intent of spinning a trend into my own version. You know, something I could stay consistent with and not get burnt out within the first week. And to be honest, editing will be the absolute death of me. So maybe something a little more raw and relatable. If you didn't live under a rock, you would know that IRL live streaming is like super hot right now. So maybe reactions to those clips or even like podcast clips, kind of like how XQC does on Twitch, but short form. That clearly works for him, so in theory, it should work for me too, right? Perfect, so now that I have a good idea for content, I'm gonna rebrand this old TikTok account and name it something like Respectfully Tyler, because I want my opinions to be said out loud, respectfully, of course. All right, after the first week, I've gotten 6,722 views, 84 profile views, 346 likes, 56 comments, and five new followers, which is kind of crazy to think about it. It's almost weird to think that 6,722 people have consumed my content and have seen my face on their phones just yapping. But what's really weird is my first video got over 900 views where the rest are like 200 to 300 and I guess my best video I got 1,189 views so I mean I guess they're adding up right? Regardless, I'm very excited to see where the rest of the month takes us, so let's fast forward to week two. We are just weeks to being famous, bringing in over 13,000 views, 147 profile visits, 582 likes, 59 comments, and 20 new followers. All right, super stoked to see numbers like this, but I can almost start to feel the greed kicking in. After posting during the first week, I was, you know, kind of just expecting the videos to flop, so I wouldn't sit there and like kind of watch how the videos were doing. But now, once I saw the video sort of ish performing, during week two, I sit there and refresh after every single post I make. And you can probably tell if the videos don't do good, you can probably tell how I'm feeling after. But if they do do well, you can only imagine the dopamine rush I'm getting. But all in all, this is definitely taking a toll on my mental health. So these next two weeks are gonna be very interesting. Dude, f I had such a good idea, such a good transition for this segment, but I'm just so down in the dumps. I've been posting for the last three weeks. The first two weeks, improvement, improvement, improvement. And week three, just such a decline. Why? Am I, how am I declining with such low viewership in the first place? I don't know, but this might be the end of the challenge, guys. I don't know if my... <laughs> If my ego can take any more getting just a couple hundred views and my friends from my childhood finding this damn account and I guess I'll read I'll read what the engagement was for this week. It's horrendous bringing in over 10,000 views 149 profile visits 431 likes 51 comments and 10 new followers. So it's more followers than last week. Is that a bonus? Is that a plus? But so many less views. But look at this a video got 10,000 views but this video blew up like two days ago. So I feel like these 10, 000, these over 10,000 views we brought in for this week is all from this one video. Uh, regardless, this whole posting thing has been an absolute whirlwind of emotions. But if you guys are even watching this, it means that I power through to week four. So maybe roll that. And now, after an incredibly embarrassing week three breakdown, welcome to week four. Bringing in over 20,000 views, 225 profile visits, 820 likes, 66 comments, and 10 new followers. Let's go. All right, absolutely crushed it in engagement this week, although, you know, falling short on followers, but I just wasn't giving the call to action, you know, easy fix. And now, for the moment we've literally all have been waiting for, here is the last 30 day breakdown. Bringing in over 53,000 views, 607 profile visits, 2,000 310 likes, 238 comments, and 48 new followers. And I'm not exactly sure 
how to feel about this. My initial reaction is, what? No way. Like, oh my God, what the hell? 50,000 views. But after posting three times every single day, that breaks down to 96 videos in the last 30 days. Breaking down even further to 552 views and 24 likes per video. So is that really all that crazy? So now I'm honestly interested to see what y'all think. Were you guys surprised by these insights? Were you expecting me to bring in more views? I mean, personally, I was kind of expecting more views, um, but this seems like a super realistic kind of, you know, start to posting on TikTok. Maybe if I just continue posting, continue the consistency, continue just putting my head down and posting these videos every single day, maybe this account can really turn into something and who knows this might even be a new monthly series on my channel regardless if you guys like this video i bet you'd find it interesting to see how me and my girlfriend savannah raided mcdonald's in europe compared to the united states and don't forget to subscribe